Hi everyone, welcome to part 2. Okay, Anand has just played King e8. And Topolov continued with Rook c c7, which was in fact an inaccuracy, but his position is so strong now that there are many ways to win. More precise was Bishop b5 check, where King d8 is the correct defense. If instead Queen takes b5, now comes Queen takes d4 with Queen f6 coming next and white wins easily. But in any case, the move that Topolov did play was rook c, c7 and Anand answered with king d8 and now Topolov played bishop b5 where there are just too many threats for black to meet. The main one being rook c, f7 followed up with queen takes g5 check and there's no rook takes g5 on account of rook f8 check with mate to come soon after and on top of this black is very close to Zugzwang and his pieces are still very passive and uncoordinated and, and here Anand snapped up a pawn with queen takes e4 so now he's two pawns and a knight up but Topolov found the winning continuation easily if you want to try and spot it then stop the video now Rook takes c8 check is the move and here after just 30 moves Anand had to resign after what must have been a devastating opening game for him. Credit where it's due though Topolov played brilliantly and is clearly very well prepared for the match. The reason Anand resigned here is because after king takes c8 which is the best move if instead rook takes c8 now rook d7 check forces king e8 now rook takes d4 a discovered check from the bishop wins the queen and the game easily. So it would have to be king c8. Now queen c1 check forces knight c6 to stave off the mate. But now bishop takes c6 and white is going into a winning end game. After queen e3 check, queen takes e3, d takes c3, bishop takes a8. And it would be all over. So it's up to Vichy in game two to prove that his preparation is also excellent. Personally I can't see him playing the Grunfeld in game 3 after this loss. Perhaps he'll try his Queen's Indian defense which is usually excellent. It'll be interesting to see what he opens with tomorrow after this loss. I can't see him playing e4 and going into a Sicilian but you never know. We've got a bit of time left over anyway. We may as well have a replay with the threatened squares on. This incredible game from Topolov, which is clearly preparation, um, very deep preparation. I mean, both players played the first 20 moves or so in less than 10 minutes, as I was saying. So they were both prepared in the Grunfeld, but Topolov was clearly better prepared and was able to steer the game down a route that Anand wasn't expecting and well, was a very fine example of the merits of good preparation in chess. A brilliant win because Topolov has got many players who work out brilliant lines from Shaparinov, although he's not a nice guy, I have to say, is uh, very good at preparing openings such as these, which are brilliant. There's another famous example when Topolov uh, used a knight sacrifice against Kramnik, and also he's played them against Anand before in the past, which uh, were prepared by Shaparinov, and they were also brilliant. Um, cooks as they're known or preparation you know for this match and uh, yeah it was incredible to see so Vichy is going to be on the back foot now it's very hard it's a massive deficit to be at uh, one game down you know right from the start it's very hard to pull it back it was perhaps most famously done by Bobby Fischer in 1972 and it will just be a uh, something now to see if Anand can do it. I mean, you know, it's one game, it's not the end of the world, but it's a very big deficit to be working against right from the start of the game. And uh, it seems that the decision to allow the match to take place in Bulgaria is working so far in Topolov's favour. But uh, you never know what could happen tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see what Vichy's got planned. Um, Will he open with e4 is going to be one of the big questions because uh, you can be pretty sure to expect a Sicilian from Topolov. 
So we'll see anyway. And the game tomorrow starts a couple of hours earlier at one o'clock Greenwich Mean Time. If the um, website is correct this time, I'm not sure if it is, but that's what it says. Anyway, and I'll certainly be there as I said yesterday. My username is Distrudo, and I hope to see you there. And also that you enjoyed this analysis. Please leave any comments or thoughts. Thanks very much.